Hi guys and welcome to a new doll box opening and review video. Today I don't have one but two dolls to introduce to you because they are a pair. They are uh, Auto and Yuta from the um, uh, like coordinate series if you can call it that. Like Azon has from time to time dolls that come back out and they just change the outfit and they call it coordinate. So, so far I have the Lil Fairy coordinate, there's the original Lil Fairy that came out, like the first series of Lil Fairy, Lipu, Erino and Vel. And they have been in coordinate, direct store limited, as a schoolgirl, so I got those uh, like some time back, you probably saw the videos already. And I also have one of the Sarah's coordinate, because she has like the kimono style, so I kind of wanted her. So that's the all, all coordinate doll I have. They have quite a bit and they don't even appear all the time on their website because they are just uh, as on store Akihabara Limited. So that's the one you can only get in Akihabara. I know the Nagoya store also does the same. Uh, if you have seen their advertisement, they had uh, some time back the... Um, uh, Excute Komorebi, which are like very fancy, they are the most expensive Excute. They have those Komorebi doll redress as twinkle, a Sarah Salamo twinkle outfit. And they have sold, sold them that way, so that was like the coordinate versions. So uh, last year, uh, Azon came out with a coordinate version of Auto and Utah. Uh, kind of like instead of the Otogi no Kuni series, Auto and Yuta, they just came out with those two dolls, which were uh, basically the um, one from before, the little um, detective, redressed in a different color. I wasn't really a big fan of the outfit and I wasn't really prepared for the hairstyle, but this time I am because they have the same hairstyle. So technically, um, those two are kind of, I checked online to see if they are any kind of redress doll and actually they aren't. Those coloring for Utah and Auto are kind of brand new. So those two actually aren't um, just redress dolls, they are actually their own doll. And they have this specific hairstyle that you're going to see, uh, maybe you see already here. They have pointy hairs made of their own hair, the way it's styled. So I think it's it's like super special. So they did that last year. I didn't get the doll, but this year I just got both of them. And the other reason I got both of them is like because they are a pair, so I have to get both. But the other reason to get them was they come with two different outfits. Uh, you can see here they are wearing this um, overall thingy. But they also come with a Japanese traditional sort of boy yukata for summer style. So I kind of really liked that. So I decided to get both of them. And they are super cute and I absolutely love Auzo and Yuta. So yeah, and they need to be together anyway. So that's for the little story about those dolls. Uh, I don't know if they still have them. Uh, you probably saw like I had a vlog when I went to get them. I went to the Azon store and um, like I arrived there and it was like people were already getting them. So I just went, got them, came out and they actually closed the door behind me basically. So I couldn't go back inside and like I had to wait a bit to go back inside with the general public because when they actually sell dolls they only sell that particular doll and the rest of the store is actually closed to the public so anyway so that's how I got them uh, you can try and check I think I have a video about it anyway so I'm going to open them quickly so you're gonna have like quick opening with music because I have two of them and then I'm gonna show them to you together to come closer. So here you have Auto and here is Yuta. You can recognize Auto because he has the big eyes and Yuta has the rounded eyes. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to open the first one and show you how it is inside and then I'm gonna like fast forward a bit for the second one. So let's start with Yuta. So as you can see it's a coordinate doll so it's just an 
special box they always make like with that polka dot and the bow for the coordinate doll and you have a picture here and it says Azon Boy Doll Collection because they are kind of out for the event at the Azon store about the Toy Wall Collection which you can get picture on the vlog I made when I went to get both of them so because they are coordinate dolls they don't have a book with them you have only the book that how to take care of your doll but you don't actually have any particular as uh, they could have a card sometimes they put like a um, postcard for the doll but this time they didn't but I mean we have two outfits so I guess that's quite a bit so uh, this is a background so as an coordinate doll so you cannot get confused so here is my little Utah so uh, let's start at the back so you can see we have one outfit here which is a Japanese traditional outfit so let's open that and see I think it's in two parts you have the top yukata I don't know if they call it yukata for boys but anyway so you have this sort of skirt that goes on top It's like brown and you just lead the doll here and you have the things to close it up here and then you have the normal yukata to put on so that's the second outfit I'm just gonna leave it here and you have the shoes the shoes are kind of a little bit of a nightmare to put on. You need to actually put them in hot water uh, to actually get them on. But that's still better than having just the tongs because you have the socks which is kind of traditional. And at the same time they actually stay in the feet of the doll so it's way better than just having the bottom part where the you cannot actually not put it on the doll and this is this is the obi I guess so that's what go around the waist of the doll when he is wearing his yukata so here you go uh, yeah you undo it here so that's probably something like that. I'm not quite sure. I'll have to Google it, I guess, to know how to wear it. It also kind of looks like a little pocket. It's weird. Anyway, so now that we have that, let's take a look at Auto. So Auto in his box here. And you see he has his second outfit on so he has this overall thing and yeah, try not to mess the hair because it's very special so he has a shirt and the overall and shoes of course and look at his hair so you can see those little pointy hairs that are kind of made of the hair so it's like a complete hairstyle but you have like two colors so you're going to see that when I zoom on him later but that's a very particular trait of this doll it's like it's like a cat boy or a fox or something so that's a big point so I'm gonna put auto right here and we're going to open Utah quickly
extra out of the box. So I need to remove this plastic from around his head. And he has the same hairstyle with those pointy ears on top. And the same outfit in a different color. Oh, you can see it's a different color. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to... I don't know. I guess I'm going to dress auto with a Japanese style and then I'm gonna like show that to you so you can see both outfits from close up at the same time I guess that's the best way to go about it so let's go so guys here are Auto and Yuta so Auto is this one you see the big eyes that's how you recognize him and Yuta is the one with the round eyes so uh they have like I change Auto in his Japanese traditional outfit and I think that suit him a lot better than the I don't know overall style so I guess when I'm going to have my dolls in my room later on the shelf I guess I'm gonna put both of them in the Japanese traditional outfit it's kind of he looks very handsome so I'm kind of happy so let's see what's up with those dolls so first uh, they are like not re dress dolls so you have this they have their own particular face. So Yuta has light blue eyes with a little point of sort of golden brown at the corner, which is kind of new. And he has silver gray hair. And I kind of love dolls with silver gray hair. Uh, I have like the Otogi no Kuni have a lot of them, so I got all of them. So yeah, uh, he's gonna fit right in with those guys. And you can see the little pointy ears right there. So you have the gray hair going up here. And you have the pink color on the inside. And same with Yuta. So Yuta has kind of purple hair. Um, eyes. It's like one circle is light blue and under that he has a purple color. He has his light brown hair and the ears. So it's the same light brown at the back and you have the pink color on the inside which is super super cool. So they both come with this uh, shirt so you can see Yuta is still wearing it. So it's like a white shirt with a rounded collar and little beads on the front for decoration and also at the sleeves here near the wrist. And it's just white and you take it off with this velcro at the back. And he's also wearing this overall which is so full of detail, it's crazy. So first you have this going, of course, over the shoulders and it's attached here with those very cute little thing it's like a real one just small one and you cannot actually use them so to take off the overall you just slide this over the arms it has a front pocket here with little decoration it has the belt buckles here 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 and here so four and it has this fake leather sign on the side which is like a real one really it has like back pocket and it also has front pockets which are real pockets so you can use all of those pockets if you actually want to and it has this little button decoration on the side like a real jean of roll basically it's just so real guys and then it comes with so he has like the overall is like folded at the bottom it's so cool and he has those little shoes with like leather type little shoes with shoelaces and yeah basically little heels uh, so his version of the yukata is this one which means it's um, a little bit lighter gray than 
the one Utah is wearing because Utah's is like black, I guess. So this one is kind of bluish gray. And he has the green version of the sort of skirt. So now we are going to have a look at the Utah here. So Utah is wearing his Yukata. So you can see he has this black and white top. And he has this yukata sleeves that are kind of short because boys have, have shorter sleeves than girls. He has still the same white shirt underneath. And he's wearing this. Um, so the yukata thing actually go down really down. So he can basically wear the yukata alone uh, without the skirt. And then he has, this, I put a skirt on the top, which is pretty cool. And he has this at the back. So I really don't know how to use this. So I'm going to ask my husband tonight when he comes home how to actually use this. Uh, maybe it goes at the back. Because it, it sure as hell doesn't go around. That's much I could figure out. So I don't know how to use it. So I'm going to ask my husband and hopefully I'll let you know later. Uh, if I don't forget or if you want to know just ask me how to use it because you should know because it's Japanese anyway so they also both come with socks so like almost tiny socks a little bit transparent and his overall is lighter so same as a skirt actually I don't know is I probably don't call it skirt in Japanese I don't know the name so like lighter sun you does and he has brown little shoes oops brown little shoes and they both have those traditional shoe which uh, as you can see is gonna make me lie make me lie nah see they are really hard to put on, so you have to actually uh, put them in hot water so that the shape is going to be a little bit easier. You can also put the feet of the doll in hot water. Basically, you can remove the feet of the doll, put it in hot water, and then with this thing, and just put it like that. Anyway, so one has black sole of the feet and the other is cream. So I guess we went through all of it. I guess that's all guys for those little kiddos so I'm kind of happy that they actually gave them like different color of hair and eyes on the dolls that I already have because I have quite a few of them so it's kind of cool to have new versions and I, I kind of love those little ears especially I think it suits that outfit is like a little fox traditional kitsune anyway so I'm gonna take some pictures so guys, let me know what you think about those dolls. Do you like that they have like permanent kitsune, mimi, <laughs> permanent um, fox ears? Or do you prefer to have dolls that have like ears that can be removed? So you had them and remove them whenever you want. I kind of like having them permanent. Like I have a, quite a bit of dolls who have like this um, hairband or that have the ears but I don't have any dolls to have like the permanent thing uh, unless you want to count my um, dear who has a magnet for ears and antler but uh, that's that's a different story so for uh, this type of doll I don't have any like permanent ears and I think it's kind of makes them different than the original dolls and it also kind of it's kind of a new style, so I kind of like it. Anyway, so let me know what you think about them. Uh, I think it was like a really good catch, especially because they have like two different outfits. So for the price of the doll, like it's it's a little bit cheaper than a normal execute because it's a coordinate and the coordinate dolls are always a little bit cheaper. But they have this special here style and they have two outfits which would have been like a lot more expensive if I just decided to buy four outfits for two random dolls that I have. So basically just the price of the outfit is like covering all of it basically. So it's kind of 
it's kind of a, a very good catch. Like I, I, I'm very surprised that they actually put two outfit because it just, it's just such a great deal. Anyway, so let me know what you think about those dolls. Um, let me know if you actually managed to get them too, or if you prefer other version of Auto and Yuta. Anyway, guys, that's all for today. See you in the next video. Have fun whatever you do. Give me a thumbs up. Subscribe. And I think that's all. <laughs> okay. Bye.